What's going on, everyone? It's MakeK2 back again. Another work video. I've got a unique job to do today. Uh, I've never done one of these, actually. It's, it's pretty basic, but I've, I've never actually installed one. Customer wants, uh, I guess it's a split level. I think it used to be like a single-family, two-story home, and they turned the first floor into some sort of commercial space, uh, and it's all on the same service. He wants some way to meter the second floor electricity so he knows what to charge it's in. And he said he bought a metering device. Which, you know, when I Google it, it comes up, there's, there's the hardwire type, and then there's a type where you, uh, where you put the, uh, you know, the, around the leads. So, I'm going to go install one of these at this property. Uh, it's a vacant property on the first floor now. Nobody's supposed to be there. I got a key. Uh, so, this this will be something new. I've never actually done one of these. I suppose we're just going to install it next to the main service panel, something... Something along the lines of that, not quite, but, you know, just an independent metering device for the second floor. So this ought to be fun. Let's go on this adventure. Yeah, so I just arrived at the property. Yeah, this is like a commercial space. It used to be a home. They made a small commercial space on the first floor. And let's see what we're dealing with here. We have lights. Oh, man. Oh, cool. Automatic lights. I like that. Let's see. Let's see. Switch here. I'm guessing that's a little, a little workshop going on here. Oh my god, look at that old rusted Sylvania panel. Holy crap. He said the line coming out of the right side. This is the line that goes to the second floor. So we're going to come off probably the side of the box. I'm gonna, I don't know where the part is. I'm going to have to find the part. He said he would leave it here, but I don't see it. Let me, uh... Hopefully this is labeled. Whichever one of these goes to the second floor. Whatever supplies this. This is second floor power here, so... That's where we're at. So we're going to go get the right size uh, cover for that, too. That ain't right. So, let me see if I can find these parts. I found those parts. I'm guessing that's our metering device. we got this box here. With no holes in it, so we're going to have to... Drill some custom holes. I'm thinking, or eh, we could put, maybe we get some conduit fittings for that. We just put it in line there. Or we can come off the side. We'll have to see what works better. Let's check out this device now. I've never put one of these in before. Can't be too complex. Oh, let's look at that. Just, just like on the website we were looking at. Okay. Should have a line. Oh, this just passes through. It's not even a connection. It's just a like a clamp on, like an amp meter. I guess you just run your uh, lines through those holes. Yeah, there's no electrical connection at all. We're just going to run our lines from the breaker through those holes and then out to the second floor. And then what the hell is going to power this? We're going to. Oh, I see. Two terminals on the bottom. I guess that's where power is applied. All right, so I'm guessing he wants this mounted inside this. So this definitely will be a custom job. Let's get into this. Okay, I see how this works. Yeah, you pass your lines through it, but on the bottom side, it's got these uh, it's got these screws that go in and puncture the line. So that's where it gets power from. Those two outputs there in the center, there's for a pulse output. This is an option we're not going to be using. And then you got your neutral on number three there. Uh, the problem is, this is not resettable, so I don't know how they're going to reset it once a month. I guess they're just going to take readings. Of course, it's going to give you kilowatt hours, and it's probably got a couple different settings for readings, but, uh, yeah. So we're going to mount this thing in that box. It's rail mountable, so we're going to have to... This is going to be a complete custom job. And it's rated up to 100 amps, and if you look, that's probably that's 60 amp cables, so... We're going to have to extend those, pass them through our device, cap them, or splice them, come back in. It's got 100 amp. We're going to switch that out to a 60 because that's, that's 60 amp wire. Uh, and look at this old, so, oh my god, look at this thing. Look at that main. Scared to touch it. Oh, well, that's not my concern. This thing is definitely, <laughs> it's got some breakers in here that, look at that, look at that. You know what a broken circuit breaker looks like right there, baby. That puppy is not resettable. It's not hooked up to it, so it's not, not a problem. But, uh, looks like we got a 
20, we got a 30, dump a 30. So we're going to have to get a 60 amp double. And then we're going to have to extend these, we'll mount this box, and then we'll mount our rail mountable meter in there somehow. We'll figure it out. Well, that took me an hour, but I got finally got that mounted. I got three good anchor points there. This just inserts into that box and has screws at the top and bottom. So my next goal will be to, I think we're gonna mount this box and I think I'm gonna go with 40 amp uh, because I don't, I don't like the way that cable looks. That's old 60 amp and I think it's, uh, I think it's aluminum, so I'm, I don't even think 50 amp I'd feel comfortable with. I'm gonna mount this box here. I'm gonna have to get some connectors. And then we're gonna have to shoot two connectors, one input, one output. Oh boy, how are we gonna do this? All right, a little progress update. Man, when I tell you that this is a custom install, this is a custom install. I gotta drill all my own holes. That's what we gotta come up with. I got two good anchors in that box here. I got some really long 40 amp wire. So we're gonna put the, our device in. I'm gonna use my uh, ground as the neutral supply. Can I do that? Absolutely, I can. Now, this pigtail here, technically, yeah, in a commercial environment, in a perfect commercial environment, that should probably be in conduit. However, this is a residential panel. If you take a look at how everything's terminated, it is a mess of one too. So I don't think anybody's gonna have a problem with that. If they do, I can come, come back and put an elbow on that. I'm going to cut my wires down here, make my splices with my new stuff, send my new stuff up through the device. Uh, over here, I've already got my, I'm ready for my 40. I'm gonna replace this 100 amp with a 40 amp. That's gonna be my supply going in. Down here, we'll make our splice going out. It's looking good. So that is our metering device mounted. And that fit together really nice. It's got two screws to hold that back panel in. My incoming power from the top, outgoing power from the bottom. Neutral lug right there, we'll supply that, like I said, with the ground. No problem in doing that. It's going right over to the neutral bar. Yeah, so I need to take a trip and go get a 40 amp breaker. I don't have one of those with me. I'm gonna terminate these right here. I'm gonna get the right size cover plate for that. We'll get that fitted in there. It might be a little tight, but we'll make it work. It was not as easy as you might think to make those bends, man. Those things did not want to cooperate. You got two stiff tubes they gotta go through. Those contact screws, I'm gonna have to test voltage on those to make sure I got those wires pierced. So that's where it gets its energy from. And it passes through what I'm guessing is sort of an amp clamp device. Uh, the arrows indicated power goes in this way, comes out that way. I don't think it matters if it's AC, but that's the way I did it. And then all I gotta do now, uh, make my splice here to that. We're gonna leave that neutral in place because it's a good connection. Don't need to don't need to tamper with that. We're just we're just uh, measuring the hot sides, and then those two will come. We'll pull all that apart. We'll go get a 40 amp breaker and hook it up and. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the rough end. That worked out nicely. I just got those tied in there. Uh, this is about a 50 amp old copper wire, so I don't, I don't feel bad reducing it to 40 amps just because of the age. There's not much running on the second floor anyway, so it's a double 440 yardage work just fine. What's going to happen when we power this thing up? I don't know. Let's see. Uh, I've never... Oh, well, that first floor light seems to be on this, but... Okay, I got a digital readout. Zero, 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 zero. Let's check our voltage on this thing here. Now we need to check our these two screws tapped into the wire. So we're going to check L1. I don't know if you can see my meter with the light on. And on L1, we got 120 volts. On L2, 123 volts. I do have a digital display there. It's not backlit, so I'm not sure if you can tell reading the zeros. are good because we got voltage on both of those so I don't know the accuracy of this thing or how you know there's no reset button or anything which is probably a good thing you don't want the tenant resetting it on its own so well it does have a little blinky red light I saw that so there's a little cover that goes on there I'm gonna put that on and put this old panel back together look at that my new square d40 I'm all square d 
What do I recommend? Square D home line all day long. Never had a failure. And compatible with so many different boxes. I have a feeling I'm going to be out here soon to replace this puppy, though. All right, guys, tell me what you think. I know the panel looks rough. That panel scares the shit out of me, actually. I'm going to quote him a price on replacing that, because that thing... Whew. But my work is just... I mean, you tell me. For my first time doing a secondary metering device that I had to custom... I mean, you tell me. I've got my right cover there. Power coming in the top, going out the bottom, tied in. I did verify that turning off the breaker and turning it back on does not reset. So this is a not resettable kilowatt hour meter with tons of life on it. I think it went pretty good. I gotta admit, when I first got here, I'm looking at this like, what the hell? What am I even gonna do here? So I keep thinking there should be a protective cover going over the inside, but that's the job of that door there. Which you should never have to open. So I put a zip tie or something around that. Uh, yeah. Non-resettable secondary metering device, 240 volts, 40 amps. Rock and roll and custom install. I think we did good today. What do you think? Leave a comment. Don't comment on that box. I know that looks like shit. Maybe we'll be back to replace that. I don't know. But my work is tits. I love it. You guys have a good one.